Okay, so you made the decision to go digital. Most of you will. Now, here's the really the first point where you you have to make a decision, and it's not necessarily an easy decision to make depending upon how you think about it. And that is mirrorless versus single lens re, single lens reflex or DSLR, digital single lens reflex cameras. Those are the two kind of big categories of cameras that are out there is these new mirrorless, which is a new technology, and digital single 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 lens reflex. Boy, that's really hard to say, cameras. So let's talk about DSLRs first. Um, they've been around for decades. Single lens reflex has been around way before I was born, so that tells you a feeling. Um, and they're very, very reliable. The way they work is inside the camera, there's a mirror behind the lens that reflects up and into a viewfinder and you have a viewfinder in the back and you look through it and you actually see what you see through the lens and when you click on that shutter button that mirror comes up and then it exposes the film or exposes the um, sensors on a digital camera and then when the dot shooting's done the mirror goes back down so that's why they call them single lens reflex it's up and down and it's why you have mirrorless which is where you don't have this mirror you see exactly what the lens sees. You see it in real time. The advantage to them over mirrorless is uh, typically that you have better battery life. There's an argument that there's more lenses out for digital single lens reflex DSLR. I'm just going to use DSLR. DSLR cameras, I don't think that's necessarily the case anymore, but there was an argument for that a long time. There were more uh, lenses for DSLRs. Uh, but, and here's the downside to DSLRs, is uh, there's mechanical components which can break down. That's one thing. They are heavier, um, and they're bulkier. So if you look at a DSLR camera versus a mirrorless, the DSLRs tend to be much bigger and bigger. So let's go over to mirrorless. Now, the way mirrorless works is, is that instead of having a mirror with a live viewfinder, you may have a viewfinder, but what it's doing is it's doing a digital capture of what's coming through the lens and then putting it out on a little screen. So that viewfinder is actually a little screen. Um, and that provides you that live view. The advantage to this is, is that the camera, as a result of this, doesn't have all those mechanical mechanisms. It's going to be smaller and lighter. You tend to have faster shooting speeds because that mirror isn't going up and down, so you can shoot faster. And mirrorless cameras tend to have better video. If you want to shoot video, you tend to have better video in general. There are always exceptions to this. So that brings a question. You've got, oh, and mirrorless cameras also tend to be more expensive. In general, will tend to be more expensive. So that brings a question. Do you go DSLR or do you go mirrorless? <laughs> if you're a new, I'll be honest to say, if you're a new photographer, I'd probably go mirrorless if you don't have any preferences. Um, it's the new technology. It, I think the disadvantages are relatively low, to be perfectly honest. Now, what decision did I make? I ended up going with a, a DSLR camera. Now, why did I go with DSLR, DSLR when I just told you about the advantages of mirrorless? I've got a heavier camera. Um, it's mechanical. Uh, and the reason why I did it is, first of all, I think the price entry point for a really good high-end DSLR is a lot less than a mirrorless. I grew up with with SLR cameras. My first camera was a Pentax, and so I'm familiar with that technology and how it works. And I just like the weight and feel of that particular type of technology, that DSLR technology. Mirrorless ca cameras are really good, but they always felt a little like weak and kind of flimsy to me. Um, I don't have big hands, but I felt like the 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 DSLR camera was a format and a structure that I liked a lot better. So ultimately, what does that mean? Either is going to suit you. Mirrorless is going to be more expensive. It's going to be lighter. It's a new technology. New technologies are always more expensive. DSLRs are um, older. It's the older technology. It's very reliable. You're going to get a heavy camera. I think you can get m for dollar for dollar more money more capabilities out of a DSLR than you can of a mirrorless. <clears throat> uh, the first DSLR I bought when I got back in, I've bought two, interestingly, 
and we'll talk about that in a little bit in, a little, in one of these future videos. But the first one I bought, I got a professional grade DSLR for $300, including one lens and a bag. Um, and oh, and a camera strap and a couple other things as well. A really good deal. There'd be no way on a mirrorless you could get into a professional grade mirrorless for that amount of money. So, mirrorless, DSLR, that's probably the first decision you want to make because that's going to that's gonna be a huge factor in where you proceed next. So make that decision, and I'll see you in the next video.